I haven't even finished editing the last post bag and I need to do another one because there's two things in this I need. Oh, hi. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna finish that video. Uh, I already edited most of it once and realized that I was editing it all in 720p and I had to start again. And then when I was doing it for the second time, I was like, wow, this is terrible. Uh, it's way too long. I'm talking too quiet in it. And even most of the stuff's not even electronics based. I'll do a quick recap of what I got right now, but yeah, it was awful. Okay, so the post bag was this random assortment of crap. Uh, first thing up was these tripod screws, the type that screw into the bottom of a camera. Next up then was these GoPro mounts, so more camera stuff. Next then was this breadboard. This was pretty good, a uh, little bit tight to put things into, but overall I'd recommend it. Uh, next was the soil moisture sensors. I made a joke about how I could hear people giving out about how they're going to corrode in the chat. It was really funny. Uh, next is these battery clips. Then was this 25 millimeter stereo headphone jack. Then more camera mounts. And then there was this awful telescope lens that I got uh, hoping to turn it into a webcam enabled solder microscope uh, this was awful um, it was adjustable but the lens was not in the part that adjusted so it wasn't at all adjustable and also there was a scratch on the lens this was a complete failure um, yeah also I'm trialing out these new stickers or well it's actually tape Okay, I can tell what's in this one because it has a pretty good name and uh, I can feel what's in this one. So they're both pretty similar, so let's open them up. I was actually expecting them to be packaged the other way around because the more expensive buttons were worse packaged than the less expensive ones. So these are arcade buttons. The kind of translucent ones have uh, LEDs in them as well. So there's five of them. And then there's 10 of these standard uh, momentary arcade buttons. But I have a couple of projects where I need to use them. So I needed to get this opened up. Okay, perfect. Next up is integrated circuits and apparently it cost 80 cent. Okay, cool. So these look like standard barrel jacks, but uh, I believe they're 2.5 millimeter ones rather than just the regular 2.1. So here is the one from my soldering iron and that fits into it. So, yep. Perfect. Next up is switch cable, and I've covered the price. Okay, so this is a switched USB cable. So it's got a regular male USB connector on this end and a female connector on this end. So I bought this just to see uh, what it was like, because I'm trying to uh, give them competition with my power blocker project that I'm making and uh, yeah so I'll take a look at how this works in a few minutes I think I actually forgot I had this thing um, it's a thing for testing different USB connections but one of the things it has is these little boards that you can actually break off I guess by cutting there but uh, it is a male USB and a female USB so I should be able to plug these in. Okay, it's a little bit upside down, but that's alright. So what I want to test is are these connected to each other? I'm not even sure am I connecting the right ones. Okay, so they're connected. And now they're not when I turn off that switch that makes sense but the data ones 
do not seem to be connected at all. And then what I guess is ground. Yeah, ground is, um, that's connected all the time. But the fact that the data pins are not connected is what I was wondering when I bought this was, can it be used for the same thing that I want to use the block ore for? And it can't, so, whew. Okay, next up we've got nuts. I'm pretty sure this is a continuation of my obsession with uh, parts for tripod mounts and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure that this is the nut treading that a tripod screw uses. So if I'm right, this should go onto a tripod screw and then you should be able to like embed this in 3D prints or stuff to have like custom adapters to go onto your tripods. So let's just take a quick look at that. Okay, so here is a tripod, and that fits on perfectly. Okay, cool. So that means that I'll be able to embed these into things and use and yeah, mount them onto a tripod. Perfect. Next up is CCTV fill light. It was one sixty nine. I. I think that these are IR LEDs. The description doesn't really give a huge amount away, although that does say 940 nanometers. So yeah, I bought what I think are decent ones of these rather than just the standard ones. We'll see if that's true. So this is my uh, universal remote example. Um, that's been sitting in a box for about a year and a half. I see uh, Colin Hickey is actually making use of um, some of the stuff on his channel, so you should definitely check it out. I think he even made an improvement. This is a MOSFET for some reason. I'm not sure why I'm using a MOSFET. I think I was just trying to play around, but doesn't matter anyways. Um, so if this works, this is the old LED. Let's see how bright it is. So you can see it. It's not overly bright. Let me try zoom in a bit closer. Okay, so you can see it there. It's not that bright. So let's try the new LED. So I'm hoping this is going to be much brighter. does seem brighter, but I don't know if that's just the angle that I'm pointing the LED at. Um, yeah, more testing on that needed, I guess. Next up is... Power cable. Okay, cool. So, this is a cable. Attached. Yeah, maybe that's attached. Um, again, for my soldering iron, and the reason I got this cable is because it's flexible. Unlike this cable, which is not flexible. So this is absolutely no effort to do that. This is stiff and has this thing in the way. So its normal use is to use this for a battery, but actually with these, can you maybe guess the project that I'm thinking of? There's a, something missing here, but uh, yeah, maybe? I forgot to record the outro of the video before I put everything away. So instead of a picture of all the stuff, I can show you the tape instead. It's pretty cool. If you want to see more postbag videos, you can check out this playlist here. 
And other than that, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.